Well, hello there. I am going to show you some basic read care steps for either a new pack of reads or for read replenishment, which should be done every four to six months, depending on how often you play or how intense you play. Here's what you're going to need. And then you're also going to need a glass that you can put water in and that has like this kind of rim, you know, like a flat glass and then a flat piece of glass. This can be taken from a picture frame, basically. Uh, some sandpaper. This is a 440 wet dry sandpaper. It comes in pieces that are about like plain white paper sized. First we are going to soak our reeds. Now what we want to do is we want to fill up this glass of water in glass. What in glass? Don't, don't drink the water, don't, no, don't drink the water. This is for your reeds. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your reeds and you're going to put them on the side right here. Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing? Your reed should kind of stick to the glass if it's not a dumb reed like mine is. Okay, do you see what I did there? Okay, now we're going to repeat this and we're going to do it with all of the reeds that we are replenishing or all of our pack of reeds. Okay, so go choo. Sorry, my reeds are in my case. But you should have, you should have a reed case so that you can keep your reeds all, all healthy and happy. And oh no, okay. Do you see what I'm doing? These are Van Doren's, by the way, in case you're, in case you're worried about what kind of reed I was using. Okay. Once you have your reeds on the side of your glass, they're, ju they're just going to stick on there. It's pretty easy. Um, once you have them there, you're going to set them down on the table. And then you're going to leave them on the table overnight. Yeah, it's kind of boring. So do this like, like a day in advance. I hope you weren't expecting this to be a very quick kind of thing. We are now 24 hours later. And we're going to take this glass and get ready for it. We're going to put our reeds on the glass. Okay, we're going to lay them flat on the glass. And it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So we're just going to lay all of them on here, you know, nice and flat. This is because uh, reeds, like, always have a tendency to warp. So when we completely get them totally wet and then we lay them on the glass, they should dry flat. Okay, so... I guess if you did this in the morning and you came back after school, it would be completely dry. But uh, I'm gonna leave it overnight. So yeah, these are stuck on the glass, lay them flat. See, and this is going to prevent warping. So it is now the next day, and our reeds are dry. Hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to take the reeds off of the glass. Okay, take the reeds off the glass. These are dry reeds, by the way, okay. You dry them overnight. They're Next, you are going to need your horn. This is Ozzy. Ozzy is a reed lover, also a reed eater. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on all of our reeds after they fall to the ground. We're going to put on all of our reeds and we're going to test all of our reeds. Okay, so basically just test top, bottom, middle, you know. Um, you could probably play a chromatic, just anything so that you can feel how hard the reed is and if there's any chirps and that kind of thing. See, chirps, that's a problem. Okay, so we're going to test all of the reeds. Okay, so after you have tested all of your reeds and determined their hardness, you're going to pull out the handy dandy sandpaper and you are going to sand the reed. Okay, let me tell you how this is going to happen. You're going to lay... Okay, this is the front of the reed. Let me find a spot. Do you see how this is the front, right? Mm. Here's the back of the reed. It says Van Doren on it and it's, you know, it's a little reed. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom of the reed, or the insignia, or whatever you want to call it is, you're going to put it on the rough side of the paper. Okay. So then you're going to rub it back and forth. I guess I'm going to move the camera so you can see what's up in the hizzle. Okay. So you're going to take this and you're going to rub it back and forth like that. Do you see that? And this is also going to flatten out the bottom of the reed because we want the bottom of the reed to be as flat as possible. I'm going to make sure it's even pressure and such. Okay, do you see what just happened? Okay, I got some on there. This is going to be smooth, very smooth and flat. You can check the flatness. You're going to sand it until it's nice and flat and happy. Honestly, I'm a wimp, so I want it to be a little less hard up here. So, I'm not saying that this is professionally approved. Um, you should be able to see the reed has an arc shape right here. It's in the shape of an arc like that, basically, where it's thinner on the sides and thicker up at the top. And then there's all the parts of the reed, which is like the heart and stuff, which is over here. But basically, I want to have um, a bit of a thinner tip. And this, this makes it more likely to squeak, but at the same time, it makes it easier to play. So what we're going to do is it's probably easier to hold it. We're going to like, we're going to like sand down the sides. This is me sanding the sides. Okay until you want it to have a really nice arc shape. So it's gonna, at the tip up here, you you actually wanna make it look like a nice rounded fingernail. I'm not saying like right here, I'm saying like, so this should give you a really nice shape. I guess I'll have to post a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, because some reeds, when you, when you buy them, they're, they're like miss, mismatched. Well, they're not even on each side, so we want it to be even on each side and rounded right here at on the inside. Not right here. Leave leave this alone. Leave that alone. Okay, this right here, you're going to want it rounded right there. Okay, so then you're going to place some more on each of your reeds, and then if any of them came out too soft after sanding, you're going to get a reed clipper which I don't own. I don't have a reed clipper. I don't have a reed clipper. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your imaginary reed clipper and you're going to clip off the tip until it's stronger. I guess I guess I hope you have a reed clipper because I don't. Yeah, and then you want to lay it up around him and then with your thumb, close these pores on the top where the insignia is not at on the top. Close these pores, I guess, because that's important. And then play on them until you're happy with them. Sand, rub, repeat. Sand, clip, rub, repeat. You know, that whole thing until you have the perfectly playing reed. Okay, again, so basically, this is either for a new pack of reeds or for an old reed that needs replenishing. And if it's an old reed, you should do it for every four to five months, three to six, four to five, you know, um, basically depending on how intense you get with your reeds. I'm really rough with my reeds, so they need to be replenished more often. Oh, and this takes a lot of practice. I know that it seems like it's really supposed to be easy, but it's not, it's not easy at all. I'm sorry. Okay, so like the first ten times you're going to do this, you're going to wind up with wonky reeds from the sanding, mostly. It's mostly the sanding's fault. So just keep trying until you figure out how to do it right, and then you can be all happy and ready and yay. Okay, and when you are happy with your reeds, you're gonna want to store them in a container. This is a Rico container, and it's really cool. So when you're completely done, you're gonna want to number them, however many you have, like one to six. Most people would want to have six reeds that they play one every day, you know, during practice. And then you can just carry them in your 
handy dandy read case. And I hope this helped you. I hope that you're not going to be mad at me because I did something wrong. So go off and make music one measure at a time. I wish you could see where it said we go, but my computer, it says we go right there. Right there. Okay, just but it says we go. So on the inside of this particular reed carrier, there's like a hydration pack. And I live, you know, in the scary places where it's like deserty and stuff. So this basically, see where it says reed vitalizer pack? Can you read that? Yeah, you can. Um, Basically, this will keep your reeds all nice and hydrated. Oh. Oh. I don't know where one of my reeds went. Oh, I found it.